A Woodford County cattle farmer whose heart is bigger than his farm spearheaded a campaign to raise money for other farmers who lost everything in last month's tornadoes. Today, Greg Dodson turned over a big check to assist with their rebuild. Michael Burke has more in tonight's Positively LEX 18. It took a cattle farmer to know exactly what the other farmers were going through after tornadoes tore apart portions of the Commonwealth last month. You take a 60, 65 year old man that's worked his whole life, it takes a lot of money to come up too. And so that's what we were hoping with this, we could relieve a little bit of pressure today. Mission accomplished. Greg's second annual Christmas raffle for charity was a huge success. He constantly posted the progress on his Facebook page. As people bought the tickets, we watched in real time as they pushed the total to more than $70,000. They trusted to give me this much money and to make sure it went to the right place, and I hope I made them proud. It was overwhelming response. He made them proud, he made them emotional, and today he made sure they could take a big step forward. The Kentucky Cattlemen's Association gladly accepted this donation to help rebuild the 48 Taylor County farms that all had massive storm damage. Complete start over for most of them. John Markham was overwhelmed by the dollar amount raised. It was a big surprise on how much it went up from what we were sort of anticipating. It's really, it really a good blessing. Taylor County doesn't forget A that blessing made possible in part by people like Karen Venus. Karen runs Lexington Sayre Christian Village Assisted Living Facility. She also won the raffle but declined to accept several of the prizes. It didn't even cross my mind that all of the prizes would go back and continue to figure out ways to raise more money. It's going to take three or four of us. Hauling Ash Tree Company provided the maple tree that will be planted nearby, a reminder of Kentucky's strength. Karen will keep that bottle of Pappy that J.T. Turner gave away. She plans to auction that off for charity. In the meantime, this cattle farmer is already looking ahead plotting ways to beef up his next raffle. Who knows where it can go from here? Yeah. So I hope it can get even, you know, I don't know if I'll ever raise 70000 again, but the joy that you get out of doing this is what it's all about. In this case, you'd have to be a fellow cattle farmer to understand. In Taylor County, Michael Burke, LEX 18 News.